Hello, today we're going to look at how to cross-process uh, your photographs in Adobe Photoshop CS5. There are many ways that you can cross-process your photos. For example, you can do it the traditional way, whereby you buy either slide film or negative film and then process it in the opposite chemicals. So if you're buying slide film, you process it in C41 and vice versa if you're using negatives. And that will give you some nice cross-processed um, film or slide. And that's where this technique comes from, so that's the traditional method. You can also use it um, on programs, uh, applications such as Instagram that has a cross-processed filter and um, things like that. But if you want to cross-process your photographs from your camera and to make them look, you know, just change the colours and the saturation and whatnot and blah 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 blah, this is how to do this with modern technology. So let's just have a look at the photographs we'll be using today. This is the stock image that I took in a field near my house. Very nice. And this is the cross-processed image. So this is what we're going to eventually get to. Now it won't look exactly like this because I've added some extra things in here like noise and there's some blur involved as well. So today we're just going to concentrate on the cross-processing of the photograph. So let's drag this image down to Adobe Photoshop. Let's open it up. This shouldn't take too long. There we go. Come on. And there's the photo. So just put this on full screen so we can see what we're doing. So now we have our photograph inside Adobe Photoshop. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is to add a layer, um, a curve adjustment. Yes. So that's our curve adjust adjustments here. We're going to hop over to the red channel, put in two anchor points on the crosses there, and then we're just going to drag this bottom one down to about there. So it looks nice and green, greener. So about there. And then we're just going to slide this top one over so we get some red in the uh, up here. So that's good. We're now going to go to the uh, the blue channel. This is a bit more simple. Simply just grab the handles at the top, drag it down to halfway in this top square, and do the same at the bottom. Drag it halfway up. And now, finally. Uh, in the green channel, we're just going to drag this one straight down marginally just to get a bit of purple. We don't want too much. And then this top one is just going to come up to here slightly just so we get some slightly more yellows in the highlights up there in the sky. Okay, so that's it with the curve layer adjustment. So we can see that's what the photograph looked like originally. And that's what it looks like now. So it's getting there um, to toward, to be towards being cross-processed. And to be fair, I actually prefer the colours looking like this. You know, this grass down here, not grass, corn, whatever it is, looks nicer. The clouds, I think, look a lot better now. So the final step towards cross-processing our image. Um, oh, sorry, no, not quite. So the curves layer we've just got. Um, if you are finding you've got some blown out highlights, for example, like up here in the clouds, you can very simply fix this by changing the blend mode, which is this thing here. Just change that to color, and that will fix your blown highlights look. Now, however, I don't like the look of this, and I quite like how it looked before, so I'm going to put it back to normal. Also, if your contrast is a bit out, you can add another curve layer adjustment and then just do your normal contrasty things, adding in the two handles, dragging down, dragging up to make an S. And then you can just change this to luminosity. And what luminosity does, it so it, it's just like light. It won't affect the colors in any way. Uh, however, again, we don't really need that. Those are just two optional extras if you're finding you're having those problems with the blown out highlights or the contrast. So now this is the last step. We're going to add a colour fill, a solid cover over the photograph. And to do that we're going to go to our Add 
adjustment layer, click solid color at the top. Obviously we, we don't want purple, we want number, and this is the color number, it's E1FF00, which gives us this yellow color. Hit OK. Now obviously we can't see the photograph um, with this color on, so we're just going to take the opacity down to 10%. And then that is it. Um, so that's just added a nice kind of yellow feel. So that gives it its cross process look. And that's how you cross process your photograph. So that's, um, you know, just compare the two cross process images. Yep, you can tell I've done the same thing. But again, as I mentioned, with this one in preview, there's some blur and noise involved because obviously the uh, pylon is a lot sharper in this photograph. So as I said, we're just going to concentrate on the cross-processing uh, workflow. So that's how you cross-process your image to two very easy adjustment layers, which is fiddling around with curves and adding a colour fill. And that's really all there is to it. So that's how to cross-process your images.